This equation is a little bit of a challenge. We'll use a trick to make it somewhat easier. Let's count the atoms up on each side. I have one iron and then the sulfate, SO4. That's called a sulfate ion. It's a polyatomic ion. And it stays together. We have it here and then we have sulfate here. I'm going to call this just one item to simplify things. So I have one SO4, one sulfate. Then I have two chlorines, product side, two irons. And be careful, there is an iron right here one of those. So we have a total of three. Then this SO4, I have it right here, three times the one sulfate, three of those. It's a lot easier than counting each individual atom. Chlorines, I have three. Let's just take and multiply the FeSO4 by three. That would be one times three. And that would balance the irons. And the three applies to everything. So the one sulfate times three That'll give me three of those, and that's balanced. So it feels like things are going pretty well, but now we have this three here and two here, and that can be a challenge. One way to manage this is we know that two times three over two, that would give us three. That would balance the equation. So we could put a three over two here, and these would be the correct coefficients. This equation would be balanced. Some teachers, though, they don't like the fractions. So to solve that, we can multiply everything here by two. When we do that, two times three, that's six. Two times three over two, the twos cancel out. Three, two times one is two, two times one is two. So that would give us these coefficients here. And those would be whole number coefficients for this equation here. So that's it. That's the balanced equation for FeSO4 plus Cl2. We did two things. We looked at this sulfate group as just one item because it's on both sides. And then we used this fraction here to help us get the correct coefficients. And we just multiplied everything by two to get whole numbers. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.